name is Dave Waddell, and I drive a 75 Mexico Blue Porsche 911. We're at the top of Mulholland, we're top of the Snake. This is the place in LA, if someone says you're gonna do a driving road, this is it. From here you do Canaan Doom, or you do various canyon runs around here. Very popular spot. I can see Ferraris, Porsches, R8s. So uh, it's noisy up here, but it is worth it to come up here and drive Mulholland. People who haven't done it don't get it. Uh, at some point, the California Highway Patrol will make a pass, uh, and then people will clear out. Uh, as long as people behave themselves, you know, and don't get too crazy. Uh, it's a good spot up here, but yeah, it's a horrible place to do an interview. I'll tell you, I first fell in love probably with Porsches when I was a kid. A really well-to-do doctor up the street. He flew to Germany to buy his own Guards Red 930 Turbo and ship it back. And he would turn the corner in front of my house to go up the hill to his place, and I could hear that car coming from a mile away, and I'd run to the window and watch that 930 turn the corner, and he'd gun it up the hill. And I think from that point on, I was always a Porsche person. So I bought the Mexico Blue 911, pretty much set up for the track. The 75 911s originally came with a 2.7, but this is a 3.2 out of an 85 Carrera. It's got a full cage, it's got really aggressive torsion bar, so it's super stiff, it drives like a go-kart. Uh, it has no doodads, it doesn't even have a limited slip, it just moves uh, and it's set up right. I learned later that Mexico Blue is a pretty rare color. Uh, I think they only made it in a couple of years, 74 and 75. Uh, you can special order it now. I see GT3s rolling around in Mexico blue. We call it the Blue Goose. The guy who owned it before me, when I went to buy the car, he said, this is the Blue Goose. And I said, all right, so we'll call it the Blue Goose. I'm not the most knowledgeable guy. I'm not one of those guys who can tell you that dash is correct or that door panel's correct. That's not really my thing. I'm a driver. It doesn't matter as long as it's a cool car and I'm having a good time. You know, as a kid or even as a guy, you wonder, are you a good driver or not a good driver? You know, and your friends kind of challenge you. You got a Porsche, you know how to drive that thing. And you never really know. So I took my uh, 83 SC at the time out to autocross with the uh, PCA down in Orange County uh, and really liked it and realized, okay, I want to get into this. And that was probably five years ago, maybe six years ago. So I did autocross for a couple of years. Uh, and then the chief driving instructor invited me to be an instructor. All kinds of students. I've been in everything from a GT3 to other air-cooled 911s. I even had a kid in a Ford Probe and I was not much help to him. A front wheel drive with the torque steer. I don't think I gave that kid any decent advice at all. But the people with the 911s, I can help. When I ask students what they want to get out of the day, I get a variety of answers. Somebody I became friends with, Margie, on Facebook, her first thing out of her mouth was, I want to beat my husband. It's like, okay, let's work on that today. People, I just want to have fun. So we're gonna have fun, so let's go out and have some fun. Aside from a student, I haven't had a woman in this car. Those women at the track like the car, and of the girls I've dated, nobody's interested in getting in it. And, and honestly, I'm not, in, I'm not interested in asking them to get in it. Just, I know they're gonna hate it. It's gonna be loud, it's gonna smell, uh, it's gonna be a bumpy ride, it's got no radio, it's gonna have a harness around their shoulders. No, I've never even asked anybody that I was dated, do you wanna go for a ride in the Blue Goose? Because it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> 